evening and welcome back to We Fish TV. So tonight I wanted to do a, a second part on the knot tying. So as I'm venturing into the carp game, as they say, uh, I wanted to teach a knot that I thought was quite simple. Uh, and I thought beginners would really benefit from learning this knot really. So the knot I'm going to show you is the knotless knot. So it's technically not a knot, but it's a good way to tie your hook. So I'll just get a bit of gear out. Let's be brief. Always have me a cup of coffee. See? I'll, uh, I'll get my gear out to show you. So I'm going to get some of this um, Kevlar cord for making rigs. Um, I'll cut a bit off. Okay, well, there's not much left on that. I don't even know why, but there isn't. So, <laughs> right, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm not going to do a full hair, uh, but just, I'll just show you how to do the knot. So I'll get a hook. So I'll get a size six hook. And we'll go for this one here. A bit bigger than what you would normally use uh, on like the pole, stuff like that. Um, so this is the Kevlar cord. So the way you do it is, if you was doing a, a hair for a hair rig, you would drop the line down the back, like so, and you would have enough for yeah, your hair there. What I'm going to do is simulate there's a hair on there, so that's the hook. That's threaded through, so it's like that, and it run the hair will run down the back of the spine of the hook. And then what you will do is you will wrap ten times. So you go round round the shank of the uh, hook. So then you will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, and then what you do then is you will thread this end back through the eye of the hook which will go with a bit of persuasion and you pull tight and what you're left with is a knotless knot so that is what you are left with not sure if you can see that properly on the camera so you're left with 10 rings which you run down the shank of the hook you've wrapped in your line for your hair or your simulated hair and you basically wrap 10 times and then push it back through and it leaves you with that so that is a perfect knot for the beginner carp fisher I've only learnt that knot last week. I um, went into Angling Direct, spoke to Chris. He showed me that way for uh, tying the hook, which is which is brilliant for the uh, bottom baits, which is really really good. And yeah, uh, pretty disappointed with this this cord because it doesn't seem any left. I've hardly used it, but anyhow. Uh, so yeah, so back to the hook. Perfect way if you're starting out to be a carp angler. So, so yeah, uh, I think that's it for that one. There's nothing much more to say about it. Let's give you one more look at it, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like from both sides. So literally, it just comes through and hooks back round, and that's where you see that little line there going back up. It's strong when you look at when you look at it being pulled. It, it's not going anywhere. That that's really really tight. So yeah, so um, hopefully you find this video on the knotless knot uh, helpful and if you like uh, the content that you that you see uh, please like share and subscribe thank you